This is Selma Schimmel, and you are looking live at the great city of Chicago, which is once again playing host to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO. This is ASCO's 49th annual meeting, and this year's theme could not be more appropriate, Building Bridges to Conquer Cancer. More than 30,000 of the world's foremost cancer specialists are here, and so is the group room, making our 15th appearance at ASCO and one of our very best. Joining me now is Dr. Sonali Smith. Dr. Smith is Associate Professor of Medicine and the Director of the Lymphoma Program at the University of Chicago. Hello, Thank Dr. You. Smith. Thank you so much. So nice to be back. There has been some news coming out of this meeting, and in particular, it's for lymphoma. Mm -hmm. So why don't you update us a little bit first clinically what's what's happening there's definitely a lot of very exciting news for patients with lymphoma and other blood cancers here at ASCO this year uh, I think what's the most exciting in terms of new therapies is that there uh, ha are two uh, oral drugs two pills that have uh, been developed sort of on their own over the last three to four years and one of them is called ibrutinib and the other one is called idelalicid and by themselves, they produced a lot of very exciting activity in people that had been treated, um, you know, many, many times. And what's new at ASCO this year is that we received some information, um, very promising and exciting early data about the feasibility of combining these oral agents with standard chemotherapy or with drugs like rituximab, which is immunotherapy. And to, to somebody who takes care of a lot of patients with blood cancers and lymphomas in particular, the idea that we can safely combine all these active drugs and, and see some activity is incredibly exciting. It seems that while blood cancers, in particular lymphoma, represented an early application of targeted therapies, mm -hmm. that we are identifying new pathways or of greater molecular understanding that we will hopefully be able to develop corresponding mm -hmm. targeted therapies. Yes, absolutely. So just to dig a little deeper into these two drugs, um, you, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, with blood cancers, we know a lot about their biology. We know a lot about the different pathways that these cancer cells use to grow. And what is particularly new and very exciting and relevant is that there is a pathway called B-cell receptor signaling. And what that means is that when B-cells, which are part of our immune system, are born, they have these receptors on their surface. And I think there wasn't broad appreciation of how important this receptor was to a B-cell surviving until the last five years or so. And so this B-cell receptor, if it's not there in either a cancerous cell or a normal B-cell, that cell dies. Mm -hmm. And once the importance of that receptor being there was recognized, the immediate thought is, how do we block this receptor from signaling? And there are a number of proteins, different kinases, that are uh, sort of the effector molecules or the workhorses of the B-cell receptor. And there are now these oral agents that block it. Um, this is very similar to, you know, as you were saying, with solid tumors, the last decade has seen just an incredible burst of new agents that are oral that block specific kinases. And while we've known a lot more about the biology of lymphomas, developing kinases has been a little bit slower. And so I think for, for us in this field, this is really just the next wave of new agents um, that we can tack on to the other gains that have made in the previous decade. Thank you very much, Dr. Sonali Smith, Associate Professor of Medicine, Director of the Lymphoma Program, University of Chicago. Thank you very much, Dr. Okay, Smith. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me again.